Good morning, families. It's Mrs. Rick. It's so good to see you. It's Monday morning. I hope you had a fantastic weekend with all that nice sunshine. Hopefully we'll get some again soon and some warm weather again soon. It sure felt good to be outside. My family did some fantastic hiking and a little yard work and a little house cleaning and opened all the windows and it was fabulous. So this week I'm trying something new. I'm recording this video to help you get ready for our live session. So I'll see you guys either on Tuesday or Wednesday. If you could try to get this done before then, that would be great. I'm gonna share a book with you, The Flying Lesson, and a little word work. The little word work is optional. I always like to introduce some words with my books. I like to practice a little work, couple words that we already know and then we can move on. When we see each other together live, I'm gonna ask you to read the story to me and I'm gonna probably take a running record just to see what you're doing. So no help from mom and dad. So with that being said, I would like you to just start and stop this video whenever you see fit in order to read the story, okay? And I'm gonna turn those pages for you so you can read each one of those pages and I'm gonna do a sneak peek so you can see them. And then you can stop the video and read that page, okay? All right, so to start out, let's warm up a little bit. You'll need a dry erase marker, an eraser if you don't have one on your marker or pen. You'll need your little sleeve with a piece of white paper in there. And I just have my Good News Graham covering up my letters for right now. The words I want you to practice writing, I'm gonna stop right now just for a second. You can turn the uh, pause button on and get your supplies if you need to or we can get started right away. The first word is next, and I want you to say it slowly, next. And then I want you to write it on your paper here. As you're saying it slowly and as you're writing it, I want you to think about these words because they're your snap words, and we always need to practice them. And sometimes we can hear all the sounds, sometimes we can't. So you have to say it slowly and put it into your head so you can remember it and practice, practice. If this word comes down fast and quick, it means you've got it up in your brain, good job. If it doesn't come down quick, then I want you to practice it. Do rainbow writing, write it all over on different pieces of paper, um, spell it to your friends, cover it and make it, uh, take magnetic letters and mix and fix it. Those are all really good ideas to help practice your stamp words. So here you go, I'm gonna cover up my word while I'm writing it and then you're gonna check it. Next. Did you get it? Good, all right, erase. Next word, then, say it slowly, then. If you need a little bit more time, pause it, check it. Then, nice work. Some of these you've seen a lot before and you're getting really good at them. They're just nice warm up. Oh, here's an easy one. I know you've used this a lot during first grade, even when we were back at school. Will. Add it, check it. Will. Nice work. You see me looking away from the camera, it's because I'm looking down at my work as well as I'm writing. All right. You can put those supplies away and as you're doing that, I'm gonna share my screen so you can see the book, Flying Lessons. Just give me a second here, okay? There it is. And I'm gonna try to move this down. Hope that's not in the way, right? And here we are. Some of you have seen this book before. I'm down here, okay? But we're gonna pay attention to the book now. This is called Flying Lesson. And this is the fairy Lily. And she wants to go flying with Clarence, the dragon. But Clarence is too hot to go flying. However, he decides that he's going to teach the fairy Lily how to fly all on her own. And Clarence has a plan, okay? Flying lessons. Now, while I do the sneak peek, after I'm all done and you're listening to the recording, this is when you can pause and read the story, okay? 
here he is, here's Clarence, and he thinks it's too hot, but he's got a yummy treat. He has an ice cream cone. You say that slowly. Ice cream cone. I hear three words, so when you're reading, you check for that. What a yummy treat when it's hot. Here's Lily, and oh, she wants to go flying. But Clarence says, it's too hot. How many of you have a brother or sister or friends that sometimes do that and they kind of beg when they want to do something? They go, please, please, please. Sometimes my own kids at, at home say that to me as well when they want something yummy. Well, look at the look on Clarence's face. He does not want to go flying. And he tells Lily that, go on. I want you to find that word want. Think about what it begins with. Well, do you hear that W? I do too. I'll help you find it. You try first. Did you find it? There it is. Run your finger underneath it and say want. Nice work. Let's move on. Oh, it doesn't look like Clarence wants to go flying and Lily's not sure what to do. Hmm. Clarence is giving her a lot of good advice and he is telling her that she can do this. He's got a lot of faith in her. He's being a good friend, but he doesn't want to go flying and he knows she can do it. But Lily is having none of it. She wants Clarence to go with her. Clarence says, hmm, I think he's thinking of a plan. Do you know what his plan might be? All right, he does agree to go flying. He says, okay, let's go fly. So Lily gets on his back and up, up, up they go. But look at all those little marks around Clarence. The illustrator makes it look like Clarence is moving, but he actually shook and shook. Ooh, I want you to find that word. Looks like another word you know. It looks a lot like the word look, but the beginning's a little different. Has that sound shh? Oh, help, Lily's worried. Clarence shook and Lily fell off. But Clarence is yelling to her saying, you can fly, you can do it. And look at Lily, she did it. All right, now you can go back to the beginning of this story and you can read it. And what I'm gonna do right now is I'm not gonna talk at all and I'm just gonna click on the pages so you can see them. And if you wanna practice rereading this book a couple times, that would be a great idea. And this is the part of the video where you should do that. Now you can pause. Now you can pause the video. Pause again. Keep pausing until you read both pages. What a wonderful story. Thanks, you guys. Now, when you see me this week live, we're gonna talk a little bit about this book. And I want you to tell me if there were any spots that were kind of tricky. This book, you don't need help with mom and dad, even if it gets tricky, because that's where I come in. I will help you with it this week, okay? So bring to the Zoom session any questions that you have. I also want you to think about something that you can write about, okay? I'm gonna give you a little writing prompt just to think about. You don't have to write anything until you see me and we'll write together. What did Lily want Clarence to do? You think really hard about that, okay? Now, if you want a little bit more word work or a little bit more practice, these were the letters I gave you last week when you came to our Zoom session and we kind of played a game with learning some AR controlled words, the R controlled words with the AR sound, those were the letters. Can you remember some of the words we made? Yeah, I made a list for some that you might want to practice. You'll need help with mom 
or dad or brother or sister with this, or you can do it by yourself. It's just a little bit more tricky. So you can get these letters out and then you can start. Here are the words. Remember at the very beginning, Mrs. Rick had you make at, and then I said, you're gonna add one letter to make that word art. You always wanna say it slowly when you're making it. So watch me at, and then I check it, at. Okay, now make art. Watch me. Art. I always try to make my words with the first letter first. So move it over so you make it letter by letter and then you check it, always check it. And when you're checking, use your eyes, your mouth and your ears so you can see it and hear the parts of that word. And then you can continue on and make all these wonderful ARR controlled words, okay? I'll leave this here for a second. This word is written sideways because I wanted you to think about the really big word you can make with all the letters. No peeking and see if you can make scratch. All right, you guys, I'll see you later this week. Hope you had a great Monday. We'll see you soon. Take care. Miss you. Bye.